I feel like you're like, yeah. Well, you, you kind of like stutter that. Brr. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna expand on that. Okay. <laughs> you guys loved our first Design Dilemma video, so we are bringing it back. I have loved watching your videos of the design dilemmas that you guys are facing at home, and I wanna say thank you for inviting me into your spaces. This is Lindy's Thoughts, where I go through three people's homes and tell you guys what you should do to revamp your space or tackle the challenge that you're having in your home. So let's dive right into the three in today's episode. This first design dilemma is from Michelle. Let's check out what she's faced with. Hi, Lindy. My design dilemma revolves around this entry wall. The entry wall actually combines with the second wall to enclose my very outdated kitchen. I think I need to leave one wall in and remove the other, but a lot of people think I should take out both. What would you do? Okay, so it sounds like Michelle has her opinion and then she also has her friend's opinions. I would say if I had to choose a team, Michelle don't hate me, I would choose team friends. I think that they are on the right track and I think with a few things here, you can make the right adjustments to make this space work. I feel like your friends had great advice, so stick with them, they're like lifers for you and I think that they are right in taking out both walls. What's interesting about this is it can really open up the space and give you a bit more of that open flow concept between the kitchen and the great room. Now, one thing to consider though, is by taking out both walls, you are gonna lose a little bit of storage. So there may be a world in which you just shorten that entry wall so that you're, when you open the door, you still feel like you have a little bit of an entry moment and you're not walking right into the kitchen, but you can kind of turn the corner and then see the full kitchen and see it opened up to the great room. I also think this will allow you potentially a little space to get a small island, which you can add bar seating at and just creates a little bit more of an intimate conversational flow within the space. Hope that helps, Michelle. All right, now let's hear from the Devers who have a bathroom situation. Let's see what they're up to. Hi, we're the Devers and our master bath is our design dilemma. Mm -hmm. We are first time parents and as you can see, we need design solutions that include more yes. counter space and more storage space or any other suggestions you may have. We appreciate all your help and so does our baby, Sienna. Oh, okay, first of all, how cute is that? Sweet little baby and I love that they're new parents because I remember this season of my life as well and it kind of transitions everything because you need a lot more stuff which means you need a lot more storage. So first, what I would recommend is a new vanity. Now, there's two ways that you could go. One is you could do a custom vanity, and what that would allow is more space to kind of put things on the counter, assuming that you're not doing a full revamp and just wanting a few changes. The other thing that you could do is just get a new vanity that has more counter space, it's a little more squared off, and gives you more of that space. Now I would also recommend, I'm not sure if this is what you guys were you know, wanting advice on, but I also think that if you replace the mirror and the sconces, it would really bring a beautiful feature to that wall. Now you also have a small cabinet by the shower. I would recommend replacing that with something that's thinner and maybe it's not for as much uh, bulky storage, but if it were tall, you could really get in a lot of small things into that cabinet. The other thing that I would recommend is potentially even a ladder that you could hang a lot of towels on and just gives you more options in this space. But I think you guys are on the right track and I think you know a new vanity, a different type of storage and jazzing it up a little bit with a mirror and sconce and you are gonna have a whole new space. Oh, one more thing I'd recommend because I'm just on a roll is a new rug. I think that um, to kind of make it feel a little bit more updated, you could also add a new rug in there that kind of spans the space and that will bring the whole space some new life. Hope that was helpful. This next one from Jennifer is actually looking like a pretty tricky situation. So let's watch it and then I will give her some of my advice. Hi Lindy, my name is Jen. We live in Redondo Beach and this is my design dilemma. We have an original 1979 oh. kitchen with painted cabinets. Okay. We are getting ready to remodel the space. Great. Do we keep the appliances in the same positions? Do we move the fridge? Mm. And what do we do with the peninsula? Do we keep the peninsula? 
Okay, there's so many ways that it could swing, but I think the very first and most important thing is to create kind of a centered wall. That's typically done with the range. So Jennifer, I would say make the range a beautiful uh, hood and give it some surrounding cabinetry. This could be on the wall that it currently is on, but just you know, scooched over a little bit to the center. And that would allow when you walk into this space to really draw you in. Or if you're willing to lose a little natural light, it could go on the wall where the sink is with the window. And then you could reposition your sink to the other side. Now the fridge is a bit bulky, so I would consider repositioning that and adding some panels to it. This would require a new fridge, but we can do that, right? Okay, so it sounds like since you're remodeling everything, I think the best choice is to get a panel ready fridge. Basically, this will kind of conceal the fridge within the cabinetry and it won't feel so bulky and so noticeable. Okay, Peninsula might be my one, like I'm not, I'm not fully voted yet. I'm not really, I'm swinging a little bit. I feel like in some ways you should probably remove it because it will open up the space more. But in other ways, I feel like it's gotta have a little stopping point between there and the dining room. So I would explore how you could kind of incorporate maybe a smaller island with just a couple chairs, but it will still sort of give a really beautiful kitchen full breath feel. I absolutely love this series with you guys. I love answering all of your questions and getting you guys some advice on what to do in your homes. Comment below if you have a little design dilemma that we can help you with. And if you have a big one, be sure to submit it to us because we would love to feature you on our next episode to give you guys all the advice that you need to bring beauty to your home.